Welcome to the video. We are doing a wrap on the Miata today. Say hello, everyone. Uh, What's your name? Anthony. Daniel. Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Today we're wrapping the Miata. It's I'm actually wrapping it with them, so they're teaching me how to do it. There is going to be a how-to video on this in the future. It's going to be edited very nicely and stuff like that, so we're going to get to it. I actually helped in wrapping this one. Daniel was showing me how to do this one. Uh, the door panel right here turned out pretty sick. I don't think it turned out sick. I think it turned out perfect. He did a good yeah. job. Okay. So you did exactly what you needed to do. Everything looks great. All right, and that, now we're talking this. So we're going to go after the fender. We're going to knock the fender out. It's a little bit more complex than what you just did. Because it's more curved and it's stuff, curved, right? It's more curved, but it's not bad. My way. How's that? All right, close. Close. Let's get it right there. What's it going over there? Close the door. Tell them what time it is, Mitchie. Let's exaggerate it. It's 11.30 p.m. It's wrapping time. 3 a.m. Two panels done. Just kidding. It's only been about an hour probably, right? Yeah. And obviously they've been teaching me, so it's been going a lot slower than what it could have been going. Could be going. But yeah, I wouldn't say this is impossible. It's definitely, like you were saying, it's, if you set up correctly, you'll be able to do this a lot more successfully. So far, got two panels done on this side. I haven't even checked out this side. Oh shoot. I see you, Mitch. Okay, this color changes in the daylight too. Hmm. This is your first piece that you wrapped all by yourself, yeah. 100%. Yep. I walked away, went on my phone, and I came back and the whole thing was done. Yep. We just did the trunk by ourselves. We this you! Okay. I did the trunk by myself. He's just doing the finishing touches that, honestly, I could have done. Yeah, he's just heating up the corners. Yeah, he's looking over, making sure I did everything perfect. Which I did, because I'm perfect. But this is doable, guys. This is very, very doable. Man, this is coming out so awesome. So awesome. This is next. We gotta clean it off. I am definitely tired at this point, but we're still trucking on. We just did the hood of this car. We have two quarter panels left. And this miscellaneous stuff, like the windows, I mean the, the mirrors, that's how tired I am right now. The mirrors, um, bumpers, bumpers, and let's see, the gas cap, the thingy. That's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, so the hood is all laid. And Dude. Let's go. Gloss black accent. 12.04 a.m. Getting some last finishing stuff done before I head out for the day. I'm gonna actually come back Friday and then we're gonna finish the car. So today's Wednesday, gonna come back Friday, finish the car. It's been a long day. I got on the road this morning to do some work at 7.30 a.m. <laughs> it looks like it's almost done from this angle. Well, obviously, we don't have a front bumper or a rear bumper. Back quarter panel's not done yet. So I'm exhausted. I'll see you guys next day. Day two here at Premium Auto Styling. Say what's up, Daniel. What's up? I forced him to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, he what's works up, for me. What? <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to get to a wrap in this right now. We got the front bumper. How do you think this is going to be? Difficulty level. It's probably like a... Five. Okay. Got one, one, ten. Five. I'll show you guys a little recess bit. Recess right here, which makes it a little difficult. Okay. And there's recess here, so yep. we just gotta plan for that. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. We're just measuring out all the things we need for the sides, because we're wrapping this in what? Three pieces, Daniel? In two pieces. Okay, two pieces. So basically, we're gonna utilize the the split that we have here. Mm -hmm. What I don't want to do is I don't want to use all one piece like we normally would, because of the tension that's gonna happen here. It's kind of a deep crevice, and on top of that, there's a little damage in this crevice. Right here and right there. So we're gonna put a seam. It's gonna hide though, so nobody can see it. Day two of the wrapping. We are getting started right now. It's about 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon, hence the p.m. We are at Premium Auto Styling again. If you guys want to check out anything from Premium Auto Styling, I'm gonna have their link in the description along with their YouTube channel in the description. I'm looking at the car right now in the sunlight and it looks amazing compared to what it looks like in the shop. Let me show you guys real quick. Keep in mind that this is not the final product. 
but we're still working on it inside. Look at that, man. Look at the different colors from right there to right there to right there. It's like blue, purple, it's almost pinkish, and then like a bronze. It looks really, really tight. Then you move, the color just shifts. It is so awesome. I don't know, I'm gonna have the I'm gonna have the flyest Miata there is on the internet. I guarantee you that. Especially with this wrap, and then give me a few weeks after that, I guarantee it. Look at Danny utilizing the glove. Yeah, buddy. It's not as hard as it seems, guys. I say if you have the right technique, you'll be able to get it. The setup is so important. Yeah. You set the panel up correctly, and laying it should be fairly easy. Where the uh, license plate goes. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, all of Miata's have that. Yeah. He got in a jail fight. Yeah, somebody like this. Boom! It's all coming together. It looks tight. Looking legit. That's legit news. So right now in the Miata, you can't really lift this back. It's almost like, what, glued on, this strip right here. So you can't tuck under it when you're wrapping. So what we decided to do, or Daniel's mastermind plan is, is he's got this black, almost tape stuff right here. It's like tape vinyl, what is it? Exactly, it's like a, it's called mold and hold. It looks OEM, it looks seamless, right? Like it comes off right here and it looks really, really good. But we're using it right here since we can't hide the vinyl under anything. We can't tuck the edges. You would never know if I didn't say anything to you yeah, guys. You know what, most like Miatas and older vehicles, they have bad trims like this. Yeah. So it's not only this car, but there's a lot of cars that this stuff can work on. So, okay. You got a bad edge on your car, they just usually start to deteriorate. Just kind of fix that. Late night again, let me show you guys everything I've done. I've been wrapping all the lights on the car. Let me show you guys. Been doing these lights, I have one left to do right here, the side lights, and then the front turn signal lights, and I need to do the front lights as well that pop up. Then I'm gonna do that and then be done. The only thing really needs to be done left is this back bumper and then reassembly. You see this right here? This actually broke off. I broke this piece when I was trying to wrap this. These pieces are known to be super brittle. Yeah. You know, older vehicles, and I told Danny from the beginning, I said, dude, when you take apart an older car, you always have risk of damaging the mm -hmm. piece. You know, so what we had noticed is there was like a hairline crack here. If you're a Miata owner, you yep. probably know about this already. The way these things are set up is they have a a keyhole like right in this yeah. area so over time I think a lot of pressure is on this area and it actually had a hairline crack here mm -hmm. so when we removed the piece it actually split in half so we're going to show you how to repair it. We're going to go get some glue and we're still going to wrap this piece because we're thinking about buying an extra piece but they're going for hundreds of dollars for this little piece right here and I'm not trying to do that on a Miata. Once you go black you never go back. Once you go black you never go back. We're doing black right here because Daniel thought it would be swaggy. We'll see how it turns out. This is the swag man. Oh, shoot. Everything's coming together. Except your trunk panel. Yeah. But now I'm. Um, no. I am looking at the wrap right now, guys, and I am about to show you. I'm super stoked for about to show you. The sunlight isn't out super well right now. The sunlight isn't out well. That sounds really good, but this is the wrap. It's super tight. It's gonna look better in better sunlight. Here we go. Oh my gosh. That looks so freaking cool. Look at that blue right there and then there's straight up purple and like a little bit of bronze right there. Like it's, it's like, oh 
Oh my gosh, this is so tight. Holy crap. This is so awesome. Like, oh my gosh, this is, look how well this came out. Seamless, bro. This came out stupid well. This looks like paint. Like, look at the edges. Everything looks quality. Shoot, man, that's this is so tight. A huge thanks to the guys at Premium Auto Styling. They spent hours on this, hours and hours, late nights. Took three days total, really two and a half days, but those guys are awesome. Their link will be in the description for their, their, their channel. They just re-upped their, all their websites, so you can get any wrap any color on their website, it's all done. They do a lot of vinyl overlays for headlights and taillights, things like that. There's a lot of cool things for Subarus as well as other cars too, so definitely check it out. It's a really cool mod, like a headlight tint or headlight overlay, and you can do it for like 10 to 20 bucks, especially with the video I have coming out soon, you guys will be able to do it very easy because I go over step by step of what you guys need to know. And I also be making another video in the future of me doing the headlights on these car and the tail lights because I wanted to do that for myself and show it in another video. So make a little another how-to video for you guys because it really is a very cheap how-to and it makes your car look so much better. Look, look at this thing, man. This is so tight. This is freaking crazy. Like, I can move the camera and not even me myself. And it looks different. Oh my gosh, dude. It looks insane. Everything looks so dope. The black accents and everything. We're gonna paint the door handles in a couple days from now. So these are gonna be gloss black, gloss black. Black right here, black down there. We did have one little mess up. Um, the back plate right here broke on the Miata. We might be getting a carbon fiber little plate right there, the back plate. And then we'll also have a carbon fiber little lip or spoiler action right here, so it'll look really good. Oh, I love the way this turned out. I actually did this myself. I did this and this myself. I did the trunk myself. And I did, I did half of the hood myself. And these. And I smoked out all the lights. So everything you guys can do, and I'm making a video soon, like I said before, that you guys are gonna be able to see. It's gonna turn out awesome. Huge thanks to the guys at Premium Auto Styling. Check out their website. Check out their YouTube channel as well. They make some dope stuff out there. They just got a recorder, and his name's John, that's gonna be doing a lot of videos for them in the future. So check them out.